Hey friends, it's Angie from The Road to Simple coming to you from my living room on a hot day in Louisiana. So I'm in here with the air conditioning. I hope the sound won't affect us too much. But I'm going to talk today about how clutter attracts clutter. Do you agree with that statement? Stick around and let's talk about it. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. If you haven't met me before, my name is Angie. My husband and I live in Louisiana where we are trying to simplify our belongings. We've got a ways to go, but we are on the road to simple. So today I want to talk to you about clutter and how other clutter attracts more clutter. Case in point right here next to me. This is a chair where I spend a lot of my time uh, working on editing videos and other things and planning things. And I kick back in this chair and this is my work area. And as you can see, it is a disaster right now. And that's because I've let one or two things stay there. Then it's just easier to pile on, pile on, pile on. We all know that flat surfaces normally collect clutter. And here's a little proof that even the smallest flat surface is getting tons of clutter. I need to really clean this up and I'm going to do that here in just a second. I know I make videos about simplifying and trying to get a handle on clutter. I am just as guilty as anyone when it comes to things getting cluttered from time to time. I should be good and drink water, so I put that here. I end up drinking my Diet Coke instead, and here's my ginger drink, and I'm lazy. I'll admit it. I'm just, I'm, I just get lazy sometimes when I sit down in this chair. One tip that I want to share with you that I learned from Dana K. White, who has a super YouTube channel and does lots of other things, is when you start decluttering to take it there now. That goes for any type of decluttering, but especially a large decluttering job. But what I mean is, for example, I've left my nails up here when I do my nails, rather than going putting them up, I've left them up here. So what I should do right now is just take them there now, rather than trying to just do a little at a time and make piles here and there and there and there to make a mess. If it doesn't take more than a minute to do it, I should just do it right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some of these things to the kitchen now, and I'm gonna show you something else in the kitchen, and then we'll come back to a clean area here in a little bit. All right, let's look at my kitchen counter. It's a little bit cluttered right here. And the reason it's cluttered, it all started out with this, one cord. I was cleaning out a drawer last weekend and I ran across this and I thought we need to see what this goes to rather than going and talking to my husband about it to see if he knew what it was for. I just laid it here. I laid it here. Was nothing else here. As the week goes on, well, there's something laying here. Might as well, here's some, another cord. Here's another cord. Well, here's some papers we need to figure out where they go to. And here's an empty container. When you see things on the counter, it just looks like, well, this isn't an important place. It's not cleared off. It won't hurt if I just put one more thing here, right? I get this shipment of cleaner in the mail. What do I do? I come and set it on my kitchen counter and think I'll put it up after a while. I know this is being lazy. I admit it, it's being lazy, but this just goes to show you, I would almost guarantee you if this was a nice clean surface, I would think twice about piling stuff up here because I would see how nice and clean it was and I wouldn't just happen to throw something here. But since it's already cluttered, why not just throw something else on there to do later? Plus another thing is I'm not cleaning this counter off like I normally would because I have to take the time to pick stuff up and move around it to wipe off. That's two good reasons. 
to keep it clutter free. One to keep clutter from forming and another one to keep it nice and clean. Okay, let's go into the laundry room now. And of course I have a flat surface right here on top of my dryer and what have I done? I have let things pile up. Last weekend when I was doing laundry, I was too lazy to put some things away. I piled them up here so then more things keep piling up all week. I am ashamed to say that I did not even throw my lint away. I left it on top of the dryer when I even have something right here to put it in. So this kind of just goes to show you, or it shows me, if I stack one thing up, I'm just more likely to put more things on top of it. The answer to keep flat surfaces clear is to not start putting one or two things on thinking you'll come back and get them. Like Dana says, take it there now. If there's something that needs to be done, do it now rather than putting it off. Here's an idea that's worked well for me in my dining room is just to put flowers on my dining room table. If I see something pretty on the table, it just looks so nice that there's no way I want to clutter up this space. So this is a trick you might want to try. And yes, I'm sure some of you are asking, what are you hiding behind those dividers? <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I do have some things back behind here because we are doing some remodeling and I have boxes of flooring back behind these just to kind of hide them for now. One of these days, it's gonna be finished and I can get rid of these dividers. Having a designated place for things like your purse when you first come home from work is a great way to keep from clutter stacking up in different places. I have this shelf here that I keep my purse, my work bag, anything that needs to go back with me to work the next day, I keep right here. And then that way it doesn't end up on a table somewhere collecting more clutter. When you get your mail every day, rather than coming in and just plopping it down on a table, it's just gonna collect more stuff Go ahead and sort through it right now. Throw away the throwaway items and keep what's needed in the proper place. I use this marble letter holder for important things that I need to take care of right away. And then if I have anything that needs to be filed away for any time period, I just drop it in this basket and keep this on my shelf. So believe it or not, I use this one basket for an entire year because I'm only putting in here what I need to keep or at least keep for the time being. At the end of the year, I go through this basket, I toss what can be tossed, shred what needs to be shredded and file anything that I need to keep in my permanent files. So it's a great way to keep on top of your paper clutter when you go through things as you get them take care of the action items right away, then toss your keep in one basket, not to have to worry about them again till the end of the year. I also have my weekend basket. Some of you may have seen my video on that. I will link to it above. I use this also for greeting cards and stamps and other special things that I need to keep on top of. So this basket is my working basket and then the other basket is for file away. As I'm picking this up, I wanna mention something to you. Even though this is pretty cluttered right now, I don't get in too much of a tizzy over it because I know I have a place for everything. So it won't take me long to just pick up the things and put them back in their place. I have a spot for everything. And so if I do let it get out of hand, it's easy enough to just Put everything back in its place. Now, ah. <laughs> this is a lot better. It took me just a couple of minutes to get this back because I knew where everything needed to go. I have a spot for everything. This is where I spend a lot of my time and so it makes it a lot easier to get my work done and enjoy what I do when I have a clear, clean place to work. As you can see, I have several things laying out here that I do not put away because I want to keep my 
planner always at my fingertips where I can see what's going on. And my laptop is right here. I use it all the time. So I don't put it away. I keep it right here. But here's something too I wanted to show you. This is a cool pillow, which is a way to keep something that you may be holding on to and not sure what to do with it. This from a t-shirt and my mom was sweet enough to make a pillow out of it for me and it works perfect to put on your lap and use it for a pillow with your laptop. So I do have a lap desk as well, but sometimes this pillow is just more comfy. And so I wanted to share that with you. This is a neat tip for repurposing something maybe that you don't want to let go of. Before I leave you today, I want to talk to you a little bit about my planner. I showed you it was laying out here. I've always been a planner. I always write things down on paper, but I've gotten into decorative planning. I now do these calendar layouts in my happy planner. Kind of flip through and show you some of the, the calendars that I've done. I think this one turned out really pretty. I like that one, not my favorite, but I just kind of wanted to go through and share a little bit about this with you because you'll see on my channel that I'm making videos about calendar planning. And so I wanted to kind of let you know what that's all about. If you like to simplify things, but you also have a creative bone in your body, or many creative bones in your body, you might be interested in watching my videos on planning. It's a great way to keep track of some of your decluttering goals, your self-care goals, your family goals, but it's also a way for you to be creative and have a little fun. And I find that I get things done more when I put them on paper and I use my planner more if my planner's fun. I'll put a link above to a playlist of some videos that I'm making on calendar planning. So I hope you'll join me for that sometime. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye for today. I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate you taking time to be with me in my videos. If you found this to be helpful, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. And of course, I would really, really love it if you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a glorious week. Remember to keep it simple. We know those simple pleasures are the best. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.